Here's some top global warming and climate science news of the day for you global warming and science nerds. That's me too. First of all, you've got a great opportunity to discuss any matter you like with climate scientist Dr. Michael Mann, one of the world's leading climate scientists. He will be doing a live question and answer on The Guardian today at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'm sure Dr. Mann will probably have a lot of global warming deniers over there shooting him ridiculous questions, so if you have a moment, stop by and give the discussion a hand. A new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences has confirmed that global warming and climate change lead to snowier winters in some regions of the world, such as Europe, where this photo was taken and where I live. This is not really at all surprising to anyone who follows climate science, but it's a new study confirming this, and it can be used to debunk the common myth that snow equates to global cooling, which it doesn't. Another new study out by the United States Geological Survey, USGS, finds that humans are acidifying just about every thing on the planet, the oceans, the soil, and much, much more from our carbon dioxide emissions. This is, to put it simply, horrible. Not surprising at all, a new study has found that bird migration and bird, pop bird populations are affected by even a slight change in the climate. So again, global warming and climate change are threatening bird populations, which threaten, threatens ecosystems, which threatens humans, which is one key reason why we want to stop global warming. That's it for the day. Catch you next time.